I first noticed my sister Kate hoarding about eight years ago while she was still married. The kids' rooms were covered in cat hair, toys, books, and trash. There weren't sheets on her bed. Her kitchen counters were covered with garbage, fast food wrappers, and bags of clothes all over the house. We helped my sister Kate move twice. The first time was a few years ago when she was in the middle of a divorce. When Peggy and I helped her move, it was filthy. There was cat pee, there was cat poop. Trash strewn about, a lot of bags of clothing. Every bedroom was full. When we moved her out of the house, we thought it was a fresh start for her. But about a year later, she got kicked out for not paying her rent, and the house looked almost exactly like the previous house. The second time we helped her move was eight months ago. She started collecting storage supplies and secretarial supplies. She was only in the townhouse a year before the landlord told her that she had to move. I felt frustrated. I paid for my sister's last move between the movers, the down payment, and the rent. It was about $5,000. If I had to estimate how much I gave my sister, it's up to about $25,000. She's never going to get this organized. No, dirty dishes all over the place on every surface. She can't live like that, and I don't want her living like that because eventually we're just going to walk away. I don't know if we've been helping her or just enabling her. OK, guys, I I'm glad you're here, and I'm glad you're doing something to try mm -hmm. to change what's happening with your sister. Mm -hmm. This is out of control, right? Yes, it is definitely out of okay. control. OK, and how long has it been this way? You say. For three years, it's been really bad, but this has been going on longer than that, right? Yes, it's been going on long enough. It started when her um, children were very little, and there were little bits of um, clutter and cat poop and like dead flies on her window windowsill when we would go visit. And then after a while, she wouldn't let us in the house. Like if we were in the area, we couldn't come in the house. We'd have to meet her at a pizza parlor. Let's look at some of the pictures here. This woman can't move around in this house. She has no. to look for a place to sit down, yes. right? Right. Yes. This is a health hazard. This is, there's food with stuff growing on it.